Okay, let's look at the situation when we compare profit competition and monopoly. Right? One thing that we will look at is we will find that monopoly price will be greater than competition price and competition quantity will be greater than monopoly quantity. This will lead to what we call an efficient outcome for profit competition. Hence, the monopoly outcome is inefficient. This will allow us to do a calculation of what we call total welfare. And total welfare will be equal to consumer surplus plus producer surplus. And this area, total welfare, will be maximized. It will be at its maximum under perfect competition. Okay. So when we say perfect competition is more efficient and maximizes total welfare and hence makes society better off, we're actually talking about the calculation of consumer surplus and producer surplus. Under monopoly, you will end up with dead weight loss. Dead weight loss. Okay. In monopoly. Dead weight loss in perfect competition is equal to zero. Dead weight loss arises out of the fall in production. So Q is lower in monopoly than in perfect competition because the price is higher in monopoly. Hence, less will be bought. So you can draw a graph. got your demand curve, you've got your supply curve or your marginal cost curve when we look at a uh, monopoly and out of this in we look for the perfect competition outcome demand equals supply you know how to do that output will be QPC price will be PPC okay and consumer surplus consumer surplus in this case will be equal to 0 0.5 because it's a triangle multiplied by the maximum willingness to pay maximum willingness to pay minus the equilibrium price multiplied by the equilibrium quantity and then you've got the producer surplus Again, 0 0.5 because it's a triangle. Equilibrium quantity minus the minimum willingness to sell. Multiplied by equilibrium quantity. You add them together and you get your total welfare. And this will be maximized under uh, your competition outcome. There is no dead weight loss. Right? So your maximum willingness to pay is this point over here so I will just call it uh, maximum willingness to pay and your minimum willingness to sell as a producer is this point over here you will not sell for anything less than that right. minimum willingness to sell or to offer the product into the market right. So consumer surplus will simply be this area over here, this triangle, and producer surplus will be this triangle. Okay, what we can then do, oops, let me try this, yep. So I will put that back, maximum willingness to pay, minimum willingness to sell. Okay. Now what we want to do is compare the consumer surplus and the producer surplus and introduce dead weight loss under monopoly. Right? So to do that, first thing first, we need our marginal revenue curve. Marginal revenue equals marginal cost in monopoly. Monopoly quantity will be less than competition quantity. Right? And then we find the price. And you can see monopoly price will be greater than competition price. Okay. So again, what do we know about consumer surplus? 
it's the difference between the maximum willingness to pay minus the equilibrium price. The maximum willingness to pay is still there, but the selling price is now here. It's higher than before. So consumer surplus is lower than before. Right? Consumer surplus is lower than before. Right? Consumer surplus is now equal to just this area over here. Okay. These two areas over here have been lost. Right? Consumer surplus under mon perfect competition was this area over here. Now it's just this area. The consumer is worse off. This area over here goes to the producer because, again, what is producer surplus? Producer surplus is the difference between the selling price, in this case PM, and the minimum willingness to sell. So the difference between this and this point over here, right? So this is now producer surplus, right? But before, this was producer surplus under perfect competition. It is now this area over here. So the consumer has lost this area over here. The consumer has lost, one second, uh, has lost this area to the producer. Right? And the producer has kept this area from before. So producer surplus is now this gray area over here. Okay? The consumer has lost this area as well. But the producer has also lost this area. Remember, producer surplus was this area under perfect competition. So while the producer has managed to take some from the consumer, the producer has lost some. And this entire area, this entire area over here, is what we call deadweight loss. Okay. This entire area is deadweight loss. Right, that with loss. Okay, the consumer will have lost this area to that with loss, and the producer will have lost this area to that with loss. Right, and because oops. And because total, I cannot seem to make that bigger. Anyway, and because total welfare, wrong button, wrong button again. Okay, let's see if I can get it right this time. Nope, I can make this smaller. Can I make this bigger again? I can't seem to make this bigger, but total welfare is consumer surplus plus producer surplus. Okay. And what we find, if I put that back, is that consumer surplus is less than under perfect competition. Producer surplus in this case is bigger because it has stolen some of the consumer surplus, but it has also lost some to that with loss. Right? So total welfare is now equal to this area over here, this area over here. Under perfect competition, total welfare was this area over here. So under monopoly, society is worse off. And that is how we uh, illustrate it graphically.